and Brad, the two most famous physical therapists on the internet. All right, ready to roll. Hi, folks. I'm Bob Schrupp, physical therapist. Brad Heineck, physical therapist. Here we have the most famous physical therapist on the internet. In our opinion, of course, Today, Bob. we're going to talk about seven simple ways to decompress your spine before you do back pain or sciatica exercises. I'm going to explain to you why that's a good idea right. in just and, a minute. And once again, Bob, the number seven is complete. Yeah, you love that number seven. Today, we're going to talk about uh, the... Oh, no, I'm going off into a different tangent. Let's talk about... If you're new to our channel, please take a second to subscribe to us. We provide videos how to stay healthy, fit, pain-free, and we upload every day. Also, go to bobandbrad.com because we're always giving something away. Today's the transition day. Ooh. Tomorrow, we're going to start the giveaway. Go to, go to our website tomorrow on Sunday, and you'll see that we're giving away a mattress. Oh, really? I'm going to reveal it. We're giving away a full-fledged sleep ovation mattress It tomorrow. is a high-end mattress. Yeah. Go to Facebook.com uh, and go to Bob and Brad there. You'll find it, our contest pinned at the top of the page. Go to Twitter, Twitter TikTok, TikTok, or Instagram if you want a 60-second version of our program. This shows you earlier on when I screwed up like that, we just keep rolling. We don't ever <laughs> stop. So let's talk about it. The first thing that I want you to try, if you have some like a bulging disc or uh a herniated disc, mm -hmm. a lot of times what we have people do is we do a version of the McKenzie method. Sure. And often people aren't able to lay on their stomach initially. It's too uncomfortable. It's too uncomfortable, too much pain. So we have them lay on pillows. I'm going to show you right here why we do that. We're going to use the spine, Brad. Oh, we so, are. Oh, yep, I thought you yep. were going to demo. I'm going to do a little bit of both. Okay. When you, a lot of times when you have a disc bulge, it's actually from bending forward. It causes the disc to bulge out the back. Right. Or herniate out the back. A lot of times just sitting with poor posture will do exactly the same thing. Yeah, Liz, I don't know what you can, if you can catch that, the bulge right there. So we Just wanna, wait, Bob. I have a pointer. All yeah. right. We want to encourage this bulge or herniation to you know, migrate back in. Where it belongs. Right. So when you lay on, a, on the pillows like this, one... The, the vertebrae do separate a bit. Right. It's a mild form of decompression. A, a mild form of decompression. Perfect, Brad. And after a while, let's say you can lay there for five, ten minutes, mm -hmm. you can actually encourage the disc to start migrating back in. Or centralize or reduce. There's a lot of right. different terms for it. So that's why we have people start with this. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to show you now with a real human, me. <laughs> Bob, you're... Yeah, yeah I'm, I'm human. You're real. I, yeah, right. <laughs> so you can place the pillows like this or like this, whatever's most comfortable. I'm like this, and I'm getting just a slight bit of decompression at the spine. Very comfortable. And this could help encourage that bulge or that herniation to migrate in. Now, this isn't something you do once a day. This is something we often have people work on like six to eight times a day. I know that sounds dramatic, but if you have back pain, especially from a herniated disc or, or bulge, you're having a lot of problems mm -hmm. and it's affecting your life. And this is something you can invest a few minutes of time, you know, several times a day. Right. Now, you'll know this is working because the sciatic pain, the leg pain going down your leg, when you do this, it's going to improve while you do it, and that's going to give you the green light to continue to do this up to eight times per day. Now, even if you have run-of-the-mill back pain, you can try this. Right. Absolutely. Now, the, the, th the key to this, though, eventually, though, is what you're going to see if you can remove the pillows. You want to see if you can remove the pillows. Now, you may start off with just one pillow, remove one pillow, and lay on that for a while, but eventually you want to get to the point where you're actually laying flat like this, and at that, that point, you can actually start going in the opposite direction and maybe get up on your elbows, do some props, like the elbow props. Right. And as you do this, you know, you should be noticing less and less leg pain, it migrating or moving towards the knee, up towards the buttock. And, you know, I've had people do this in a matter of one session, right. actually get rid of all the leg pain and have the pain centralized to the back. I mean, I'm smiling big then because I know that person is going to improve fast. Yeah, but sometimes it may take days to do that. Yeah, if leg pain is getting worse, 
Uh, when you do this, you got to go back to the pillows then. Right. And then eventually, you, you're actually going to do press ups. Not the, and that's not really the point of this video to get into the exercises of the McKenzie. Right. I wanted to show you kind of the prep to do before that, where you can do the decompression of the sure. spine. And again, Bob mentioned if you just have run of the mill back pain without leg pain, you can still do these. And absolutely, if the pain reduces clearly, it's a good thing to do. Right, decompression is often good for almost every form of back pain. Right. I, I, you know, in most cases, it's going to feel better. Right, yeah. help release some tension and and to get it to relax. Now you can also do that kind of a similar stance like over the ball right so exactly shall i demonstrate yeah would you please I, i'm going to do it on the floor because sure. the ball on the on the table or the bed won't work and just you know i've had people do this in the clinic as an option if they have a ball at home and we'll we'll try it like this and now for me this is particular if you have stenosis or uh, spondylolisthesis i know this always feels really good to me just to stretch like this and brad does have spondy so this is a great one i mean he he's the one that could advocate for this um because he certainly can you know tell you whether or not it's helped him in the past now i'm rotating right to left because that actually feels even better i can feel the muscles on the right stretching now the muscles on the left i'm going to hang out now i'm not going to hang out here for 20 minutes it's just a matter of a, a minute or two um and stretch and you have a little bit of a herniated shirt there brad You're oh, oh <laughs> bob now i'm self-conscious i won't yeah. be the same all right number three uh why don't we go ahead and i'm going to show this now you could do this on a countertop it might even, you know, like if you're going for a walk around the lake and they have those good solid benches oh, that are right. cemented in, you, bet. you go to the back of the bench, you're going to put your palms forward like mm -hmm. this, and you're going to just lean on it like this and put your legs back, and you can just let your back extend and hang here. So right through here is extending. You can see he's got his elbows locked so yep. that it's easier. Do you do this when there's a lot of people looking at you, Bob? Yeah, well, no, this is probably one you want to do in a little bit of privacy, but <laughs> I, I mean, yeah, yeah. That, I, and you could do it on a countertop at home in your own privacy sure. if you don't get you. Yep. I just know a lot of people when they're walking, they get some back pain. It can, you know, you can do this for up to a minute, mm -hmm. and it can give you quite a bit of relief for a while right, after that. Right. And it can help you walk further than, you know, which walking is obviously very good for your back. We've mentioned right, very many right. times. So. All right, next one, Brad. I'm going to actually, we should move this out of the way. Right. All right. Are we going to help out? Yeah, just, just be patient Hang with on. us. Yeah. yeah. Dun, you, dun, you, dun, you can dun, fast dun. forward it. You click on that little yeah, arrow down below. Yeah, this only take a second. Yep, just We're just going to get out of the way. We're going to get it way out of the way, Brad, because we way, got oh, way over here. Listen. We're back. We're back. We're back. Okay. This next one is easy for you to do. You just need two chairs. And uh, Did you say easy? Easy to do, oh, not easy to do. Edie do what is that? I don't know what you're saying. I couldn't understand it. So this is one that you can all do very safely. You just get down on your legs like this, and you're going to again put your palms like this, and you can lift up. And you see how my knees are actually coming up? Right here. I could almost put that under yeah, there. If I lift way up. But I want to be relaxed a little bit, too. Right. So if you have to, you might have to put a cushion on the chair to raise right. you up a little bit. But this is just a great way to apply some traction. We have fold-up chairs. I'd probably recommend solid ones if you have them. But since our COVID thing in the bunker that we're down in, we don't have all of our... Got a little runny nose, Brad. Ooh. Okay. Yeah. No, no, no. I'm fine. So, just go again, you can go 30 seconds up to a minute. Right. Just a great way right. to give yourself some relief. Yep. Next one, Brad. We're going to bring in another chair. You want to bring in them with the arms? Oh, yes. The big arms. Cool. This is a great one to do. You can do this on a cushion chair even with, with good soft arms, you know, but well, this one is a cushion. Yeah. I, I oh, mean, you mean cushioned like a, arms? Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. You can even do it on those because I've done it before. I don't know what the best angle is here, but I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to put my feet out like this and I'm going to lift up like this. This is actually one of the easiest ones to do, Brad. Yeah, if you've got strong enough arms to yep. elevate. But it's really important you need to learn to relax, relax your, the abdomen. Yep. Right, because otherwise you will not get that traction or the decompression. Um, and that takes a little practice for some people. Now with, yeah, with all these, you can, after you do this, you can then lay on your stomach and do some of the press-ups. Yep. I mean, uh, Or you may just go for a walk. Right, right, uh, absolutely. On, on a flat surface. 
I mean, not perfectly flat. If you like, I walk down the road. My road is relatively flat. Uh, it doesn't have much of a camber. I'm not going up and down any. No, yeah, no less stress on the back that way. All right, more and relaxing. So, so anyway, we're now going to go try the booyah stick, Brad. Now, do you want to show that seated? Yes, I do. All right. Why don't you do that? Uh, you know, I could show it standing as well. Where's that? That you hid the black chair. Oh, there it is. Well, I'll, I'll use one of these. It doesn't matter. Sure. Um, we're well prepared for you yeah. as always. Mm. So if you have, uh, you need a pretty significant stick. Uh, we got the booyah stick, which is made for this. But if you have a, a good piece of dowling or something substantial, you can put it on the chair like this and reach up and lean forward like this. So I'm taking weight through my hands and trying to decompress. And you'll feel it. I mean, yeah, when, it when I get to here. To the back. I think this works better though if you sit down and then you put it on the seat pan of the chair, reach up as high as you can with the stick vertical, and then simply lean forward and relax. And I'm getting a really nice uh, traction or decompression on my lumbar spine. And it's good for the shoulders as well. This is really a double header exercise. Yeah, you um, can actually could carry the booty stick while you're walking, and then you could go up to a bench or a rock and and just actually decompress that way every so few, you know, right. every 100 yards if you had to. It really is amazing what you can do with a, That's a simple right. piece of equipment. And by the way, you can use it for self-defense too. Well, that, we have a video on that. <laughs> so, well, it's part of a video. All right. The last one we're going to show you, this is actually uh, you need to purchase. Um, you, well, one, you can hang from a pull-up bar. You can hang out from a tree branch. You know, the, if you um, got, yeah. If you had a good one. Uh, <laughs> but uh, what we're going to show you actually is, Brad, do you oh, mind I'm sorry. That? Yeah, yeah. Um, we actually, Brad and I, invented these hanging handles. And what they do is they attach to what our, we invented our wall anchor to here. So you, they come with two of these, two of the anchors. Right. You put those into a stud. In we, the wall. we have all the instructions yeah. on how to do that. And then you can actually do exercises with these using the exercise bands. But you also comes with two handles like this. Yeah. And the handles... Just clip on very simply like this. We've got one clipped on right there already. And I, I use these all the time, Brad. I, I did this, I bet you, six times yesterday. I, I, I was working at the computer all day long. Sure. And I would every half hour or so, I would just come over and I would hang. Yep. And again, good for my shoulders, but my, my back every time would cavitate or crack a little bit. Sure. From, from being you know compressed for so long while seating. Yep, in that seated position. Yep. And you can see, you know, he Bob has his legs relaxed. You could put him out. Do you ever do it with your legs? I'm in a front tall of you? guy, so yep. I absolutely do it this way. Yep. And I even do some rotations. And sometimes and I'll actually bring my sacrum or the belt line back to the wall and it gives a little more Oh uh, sure. Yep. I mean th there's a lot of variations here. You can you can actually you want to do it this way almost like the booyah stick, you know, where you're, you're Kind of decompressing this way and rock back and forth. It's just a myriad of ways. You do so. what feels good for your back. Right. Um, and your body will tell you. But this one, I, again, I even like it for my upper back. I think I'm going to go back to it again. Oh, yeah. So. Yeah, that thoracic spine does responds yep. well to this. So, all right. Those Ooh. are seven uh, things you can try. Some of them involve no equipment at all. So we try to give you lots of options. And uh, remember, Brad and I can fix just about anything. Except for... A broken heart. Yeah, but today, did you notice? Today what? is 7-7, seven, seven, and we did seven exercises today. I think this is going to be oh, a I big... I thought you were going to tell the Liz story. She, no, uh, no, I'm not going to... She wanted uh, yeah. her, her husband, who was dating... Well, they weren't dating at the time. She was hoping he would ask her to be her boyfriend on 7-7-2007. Seven, 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 seven. A lot of sevens there. And of course he did not. Because yeah, if that would have right. happened, they could have went to Las Vegas on that day any time right. in the future and got rich every time. Yep, that's right. Yeah, well, you know, you well where's out. Alex? We're going to give him a hard time about that being. All right, thanks for watching.